Long way back from where I started. Remember I was starving. Now I'm balling like John Stockton. Sideline, they steady watching. Winning was my only option. Boston full of down. What's poppin', y'all? This your boy Caesar the Short, CZR Records. Today, got another episode of For the Record. You know, going across conversational topics based on, you know, everything from music, current events, social media, entrepreneurship, health, wealth, relationships, you know, things of that nature. Um, but today, you know, we're going over one of the classic theories. Um, I like to call this one the early bird theory. You know, as they say, as the old saying goes, um, the early bird catches the worm. But is that necessarily true? In my opinion, yes and no. It depends on what uh, what field you're talking, you know. Because based on, you know, today's mathematics, right, there's a lot of young entrepreneurs, a lot of young successful people. They don't all necessarily wake up at 5 a.m. You know, you know, you hear from all these uh, entrepreneurship gurus and stuff like that, successful, wealthy businessmen, especially from back in the day. I know your parents probably told you this at one point. Early bird, catch the worm. They bust in your room at 5, 6 in the morning talking about why you ain't up, why you ain't up. You ain't got nowhere to be at 5 in the morning. But I that is not a good piece of advice because it, it does lend itself to more success, right? But it's also entrepreneurs who, even YouTubers, you know, especially being that this is going on YouTube, with certain successful younger YouTubers that, you know, they might not even wake up till 12, you know, 11. I'm not saying get up at 2 p.m. because... 3 p.m. Because if you're waking up at 2, 3 p.m., you ain't got no business getting no money. You're not getting nothing at 2, 3 p.m. Half the business is closed at 5. You woke up at 3 by the time you get in the shower, feel me? Get ready. It's 4. You already done. Now, if you're doing certain stuff like musician, such as myself, you know, a lot of times you do run late hours. And you can be massively successful. Um, a lot of massively successful music artists in different genres is notorious night owls, um, one of my biggest inspirations, Kanye, is is, is uh, supposedly a big night owl. Love working at, you know, past midnight, you know what I mean? But in general, it's not necessarily just about waking up early. It's about the idea or the thought process of being an early adapter, right? Being one of the first to adapt new technologies, new thought processes, new ways of getting money, new filming, new fields, right? Especially, again, as it relates now today back to even the technology aspect, there's a lot of new technologies taking over, even everything as far as, you know, um, the YouTube itself, social media marketing, uh, Bitcoin, um, different methods of payment, transactions, things like that going on where, okay, if you adapt early now, you stand a, a greater chance to make a lot of money. Even with the Bitcoin, the first major rush, you know, of course, was the 2016, 2017 rush leading up to 2021, 20, 22, you know, the end of the bull run. It's been kind of, it's been in, in a, you know, in a downward turn, but it's starting to finally rebound. And it's such a, we, we, we see in such an early rise of the technology that it's still not too late. I think another bull run is coming because that's the way it goes. It goes in cycles. So people who early adapt to it now is going to make bread. People who adapt to new, um, new coins, new operating systems, um, whether it's Ethereum, whether it's, you know, um, Hydra, all, all type of stuff, man. I can't name all the ones you should, I can't tell you it's not financial advice, but you know what I'm saying? People who adapt early to this technology in general is going to make a lot of money. So the early adapter theory, the early bird theory is really the early adapter theory. No, I don't think everybody got to wake up at 5, 6 in the morning to be successful. Does it help? Yes. Just because simple mathematics, you having more hours, you adding more hours to your day. And a lot of times at that rate, you're waking up at 5, and you get into it, you're getting downhill, you're getting to it from the moment you wake up, you, you know, up and at them. You're going to stand a better chance because by the time it hit noon, you didn't accomplish more than the average person even did. And it's people who, it's, it's, it's people who not even getting up till noon. So no, I'm not saying you got to wake up at 5, 6 to be successful, but no, I'm not telling you stay in the bed till 2, 3 p.m., you know what I mean? So it go both ways. The more important aspect is to be an early adopter of new technologies, new ways of getting money, new thought processes, new avenues. Right? That's what it really comes down to. Because again, like I said, it's some people who don't even get up till 11, 12. And even then, they're not actually up and at them and out till 2. They're getting up at 12, you feel what I'm saying? They can still be massively successful. And I see some of these and some of the 
some of my favorite YouTube creators I like to follow and stuff, um, they make their own schedule because that's the ultimate goal is the freedom, the time freedom, the financial freedom comes with the time freedom, right? Once you make it to that certain level, yeah, you make your own schedule. And that's the ultimate goal. I'm not to say nine to five is bad. I get it. Everybody's going to have to do it at some point. A lot of us going to have to do it at some point. But when you get that time freedom, yeah, as long as you're being productive, be productive and be an early adapter to new technologies and new ways of thinking, new ways of getting money and new ways of getting to it. Don't ever be an old dog where you can't learn a new trick. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's part of, you know, that's the best part is learning and being, you know, ahead of the curve. That's what it really come down to, being ahead of the curve. You know what I mean? So, as I like to call it, early adapter, early bird theory. You feel what I'm saying? Be an early adapter. Never feel like you know too much. Only a fool know everything, right? Only a fool knows everything. So, 